Well, if the polls are right, it could be a long night for President Obama and the Democrats come tomorrow. Republicans are forecast to regain control of the House of Representatives. Mac McClarty knows what it's like for a president to lose that House and lose big in the midterm elections. He was President Clinton's first chief of staff, and he joins us now live from Washington. Um, so, Mac, these comparisons constantly are being made between what we may be seeing play out in tomorrow's elections and what happened with the Republican Revolution back in the 90s. One key difference, the state of the economy. Tell me uh, how that changes the environment. It's a different time and place, Margaret. There are some similarities for sure, and I would note that while the midterms did change uh, for President Clinton, he was reelected, the first Democratic president since Franklin Roosevelt. But it is a different time and place, and I think uh, the president will have to interpret these results. I'm not sure they're going to be quite as uh, overwhelming as some of the pundits um, uh, are predicting. But regardless of that, the president's going to have to interpret them, and he's going to have to make some changes going into the next two years. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you pointed out that, that President Clinton was reelected after those uh, after those midterm elections. But um, we were also, in looking back, that time period is credited with having uh, a large degree of bipartisanship, the president becoming more centrist uh, as a result. But it wasn't an easy place uh, to get to. I mean, government shut down. So is it over? Exactly estimating things to say that uh, we're going to possibly face gridlock and that it ultimately is good. Well, the conventional wisdom, I think, Margaret, is that it will be a very polarized uh, political environment as we, as we have seen for the past uh, several years. On the other hand, I think the real message of this election, both to Democrats and Republicans, is that the vast majority of the American people are not satisfied with the way Washington is working. Uh, and that they want changes, they want people to better understand their needs and problems and to work together and get things done. So I think it will be a mistake, a miscalculation for both the administration and the Dem Democrats and the Republicans if they can't find that proverbial common ground mm -hmm. to work on. Uh, and I think there's some areas that they can conceivably do that. But that's the optimistic view, not the conventional wisdom. Uh, do you think that this administration is willing to become more centrist and seize that need as you've expressed it? I believe they are, uh, but it takes two to, to tango, to use the old cliche. I mean, I think they will have to, to see some signals from the Republican Party. And you've already uh, seen uh, Senator McConnell and others make pretty pretty uh, uh, harsh statements in that regard. So it will it will depend on, on, the, on the outcome of the elections. The votes haven't been counted yet. Let's see how the election goes. Again, I, I'm a bit more hopeful about the Democratic uh, side in this mm -hmm. election than some. But again, I think that the administration will have to make changes. But I, I think given that, the president's already sent some signals. He, he thinks there's some areas for cooperation. I think he's already done that in his radio address a week ago. Well, uh, one other similarity that some uh, may draw parallels with between your time in office and what's happening now, Rahm Emanuel leaving as chief of staff. You left right before the 94 uh, elections as well. How does that changing of the guard uh, perhaps reflect or signal in some way a changing or shift in the agenda? Does it? I think it's, it, well, it, it does to some extent. I think uh, in this case with Pete Rouse coming in and in my case with Leon Panetta, who had been a part of the uh, administration as director of the OMB, it wasn't a dramatic shift in, in terms of the direction or the tone. But I think mm -hmm. most White Houses have a, a natural rhythm right. uh, of change and reset. And I think the midterms are, are that or that natural point uh, for a, a reset or a different direction that reflects the circumstances. And Margaret, you made a very, I think, important point that I, I want to affirm, and that is the economy. That's the, that's the lens everyone yeah. is looking uh, through, and that's going to be the key, I think, for, for the president.